Hello, dear skillful teachers and uh, smart, curious students, as well as the young scientists. My name is Eshpoy Foybek, and uh, I'm the ESP and EMI teacher. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a statistical model, which is called ANOVA, for the different kind of the uh, publication articles and uh, also research papers. As you know, the increasing demands of conducting researchers and uh, writing effective articles has become the compelling forces for every individual of the science and also students who are conducting their uh, graduations, also defending their degrees. That's why the aim of this uh, video is to help them to understand the ANOVA statistical model and the uh, application of this model in different kind of uh, fields of science. So let's begin our lesson with this presentation. In this presentation, you will know how to use ANOVA statistical model in the scientific research and article writing. What is ANOVA? ANOVA, it is the abbreviation of analysis of variance. This model has been, uh, was developed by Britain statistician scientist, Ronald Fisher, who created the foundations for modern statistics. ANOVA model, it is a general model, and uh, you can use uh, this model for different uh, fields of science. Uh, for example, the mass economics and also the medicine and chemistry this model relies on two hypotheses alternative hypothesis and null hypothesis null hypothesis means the result and findings of your research is equal to zero which means you made no difference you haven't created a new thing and the alternative hypothesis means uh, the results and findings of your research is a new thing. You, uh, your results is, uh, has become successful and uh, your research work is a new type of work and uh, you invented a new thing. Here you can see we have two kinds of ANOVA one-way ANOVA and the two-way ANOVA. Uh, the main difference between these two kinds of statistical model is the number of independent variables. For example, one-way ANOVA, uh, you want to determine the effect of a new drug to the human. For the two-way ANOVA, you want to compare the effects of two brands of the same drug to the human. As you can see here, in the one way ANOVA, we are determining the effect of only one drug. And the second uh, type of the ANOVA statistics, which means the two way ANOVA, uh, is intended to compare the effects of two brands of the same drug. You know, here we have two independent variables. We have two kinds of uh, brand, two kinds of drugs but on the first type of the ANOVA we have only one drug which is a uh, which is one independent variable here's a, a research topic is provided so that we can check this model practically the research topic is this the following and the effect of the two brands of the same drug to the human body. Uh, it means we're gonna understand the effect of the two brands of the same drug to the human body. And you can see here the data of, and the results of the research has been provided. Uh, in order to check this, uh, the effectiveness of these drugs, we selected two groups, experimental group and control groups. And uh, we conducted our experiments four times for each group. 
experimental one, experimental two, experimental three, and experiment four. The same goes also with this control group. And uh, we also conducted three types of the tests, test one, test two, and test three. And our grading system is uh, based on, uh, on these uh, grades, uh, zero to 100 for the each tests. You can see, uh, if you analyze this table, you can see the relevant grades to the relevant experience. For example, the experimental group uh, can be injected with this uh, new drug which you invented and the control group can be injected with the old drug which can be replaced uh, with your new drug if, your, uh, if the results of your research has been successful. And uh, you can see the, for the test one and test two, test three, the experimental, uh, the experimental group achieved 80 and 70, 80, uh, 82 respectively. And finally, they achieved 88, 86, and 85. And uh, let's consider the control group. The control group, they, uh, in their first test, they achieved 70, uh, 76, 75, and uh, uh, 65, and 71 for the next test, test, four, uh, test two and test three. And when it comes to the uh, when it comes to the final experiment of the control group, uh, the test results shown this uh, 66 and uh, 57 and uh, 75. Uh, let's analyze this table by using the ANOVA statistics model. For this, we're gonna use the Excel file. In this Excel file, the table is already provided. It's available to use. And now the first thing that we should do is, is to find the Analyze done. For this, we have to go this one. I mean the Danny. After that, you have to select this one. Analyze Danny. If you don't have such kind of label on your file, you have to go to the file page, then go to the parameters, then you have to select Nastroiki. Finally, you have to press this Heriti. As you can see here, uh, this window shows the different kinds of the Dastupni uh, Nastroiki. And uh, here you have to select two kinds of these uh, analysis models, the uh, Paket Analyzer, Paket Analyzer DDA. And you have to select these two guys, and uh, you have to press the OK. So, as soon as uh, you've selected that uh, analysis models, this one appeared, and uh, you have to press that one. And uh, here you can see different kinds of the analysis models are available to use, but we're going to use ANOVA model. For this, we're going to use this one. Two factor distortion analysis of afterinimi. You have to write that one. And the next thing that you should do is to map your table completely. We've already mapped this table. Here you can see it's uh, digital information, digital codes has been inserted in this box. And uh, the next thing that you should do is to find how many times you've, uh, you've conducted your experiment. Four times. Because here you can see four times experimental, uh, four times control. 
means uh, for the each group you've conducted your experiment four times for the experiment groups you've conducted four times and uh, for the control group you've conducted also four times keep this in your mind and the alpha is also 0 0.05 it is a constant number of this uh, ANOVA statistics model and finally you have to find the location of your analytical data so uh, for me I'm going to choose this location in order to locate my analytical data let's press ok here you can see the analysis data has been appeared and uh, let's understand this uh, data on the bottom of this uh, data you can see a table this table is called ANOVA table and uh, each, uh, each uh, factors has their own importance for example the most important one is this one p-value p-value if the p is uh, less than 0 0.05 which is a uh, which is a constant number of the ANOVA and uh, if this p-value is less than 0 0.05 our um, research is uh, successful here you can see uh, this one 0 0.02 which is uh, less than 0 0.05 and it means our research is successful and the, here uh, on on the top of this table you can see the relevant information about the control and the experiment groups here you can see the experiment groups data their uh, their grades of the the average of their grades and uh, some of their grades and the distribution of their grades and uh, for each tests for each testers that kind of information and identified and uh, you can see the control group the same goes with this control group the sum of their grades average of their grades distribution of their grades by using this data let's uh, plot the graph by using this excel file for this we should select the average of the grades after you selected the average grades for the experimental group uh, you have to press the control key and then go to uh, go down to the control group and uh, select the same average grades for this group also then after that you have to go to the spravka then you have to select the diagram type as you can see here line graph pie chart and the bar chart has been provided for me i would choose this one by chart here you can see the graphical data has uh, appeared now we have to process this graph i'm gonna rename this section which is Sredni and Sredni it is not a logical for experimental and control group that's why i'm gonna rename this in order to do so i'm gonna press the right side of the mouse and uh, i'm gonna select the vibrid tani then you can see the sredni and sredni which is the uh, name of the average grades of the groups and uh, in order to change the names you have to press the is minutes and uh, you have to find the codes of the emia riada to do so you have to press this label and uh, properly you have to select the name of the column 
And as you can see, the automatical change occurred. And the, for the for the second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I will uh, I will I chosen the second uh, name of the column. Let's write the uh, minute. And you have to do the same thing for the uh, second uh, for the second column as well. You have to name the bar. As you can see here, the proper names appeared with proper colors for the. As you can see here, orange uh, is a control group, and uh, you can see uh, here green, uh, here blue is the experiment uh, group, uh, which is a, which is a, a group has been in injected with a new drug, which is your drug. And uh, after that, uh, we have to change this one also, the bottom of these columns. For this, you have to also now uh, for this you have to also press the right side of the mouse and go to the vibrant dummy and then you have to as you can see here one two three which is uh, which is the name of this uh, proper columns and uh, you have to uh, press this one is minute and uh, you have to uh, you have to uh, map the range of these names. You have to find this one. Diapason or PCOC. You have to do these things. It means you have to choose the testers. As you can see here, the code of these testers appears. Okay. Here you can see the bottom of this uh, graph has uh, changed. And the, the final thing we should do here is rename the graph. I'm gonna rename this graph like this, comparing the two types of drugs, new and old. As you can see, I've changed it. And uh, let's analyze this graph. And uh, here you can see the blue, which is the experimental group, is, uh, is uh, higher than the control group, which, uh, which is in the orange color for the for the first test and uh, for the second test you can see also the experimental group is higher than the control group and for the third group you can see also the experimental group is uh, higher than the control group which means our research has been successful and uh, we made a difference we uh, avoid the null hypothesis, we accept the alternative hypothesis. Because of our analytical data and our proof, our evidences also. Thank you for your attention. For the next videos, I'm gonna explain you the ANOVA table. Thank you for your attention, stay clear.